Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy Hallows Eve. This is the beginning of all the holidays to unfold. I hope you guys are as excited as I am and being safe as much as possible. Let's get into your reading Aquarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month. Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels, please step forward and guide us. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, your first card. We're starting it off. <laughs> Seven of Cups wanted to come out. Okay. Seven of Cups. Interesting. I'm hearing options. For a lot of you guys, you're going to be experiencing a lot of options, a lot of opportunities coming to you. It's going to be crucial and important to maintain focus for the month of October, Aquarius. Do not get distracted. Your next card here is exactly what I just said, the Chariot card. So the Chariot card is that of being extremely focused. This is like keeping your eye on the prize. This is, um, you know, getting from point A to point B without any distractions. This is like full throttle type of energy. So I feel that for this month of October, like I said, you guys are going to be experiencing a lot of opportunities unfolding for you, but it's going to be crucial to maintain your focus and not be distracted. Um, with the Chariot card, you may be dealing with a Cancer type of energy. Uh, I also do see water here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but I am hearing, again, maintain your focus. Don't lose that focus, okay? Crucial and very important. Your next card here is the Princess of Swords. So I definitely do see communication opening up. For some of you guys, it could be communication opening up with a Cancer. For others of you, it could represent someone that's looking at you on your social media platforms or trying to reach out to you on social media. Um, one of the things that I'm hearing is a lot of communication back and forth um, with people in your outside circle. So again, uh, they're showing me here um, people looking at you, people viewing your stories, people um, just, you know, like gravitating more towards you. But I do see like communication open up. So what I'm hearing is for a lot of you guys, it could be if like you don't rarely, you know, talk to anyone on social media or anything like that. Don't be surprised if in the month of October, people start reaching out, people, you know, just randomly say hi to you, etc. And all of a sudden, you realize that you have options when we're talking about relationships, when we're talking about romance. Um, and I feel all of this has a lot to do with the planet alignments right now uh, that may be assisting. Now, your next, the next card here is the Devil card. So for some of you guys, this could be a Capricorn type of energy. But this can also represent, again, we go back to that of focus. With the Seven of Cups, having a lot of options is a blessing, but sometimes when our energy is scattered um we try to do you know 10 things um without learning to master one thing so what they're telling you here is focus is crucial for your success with the chariot card the page of swords could indicate having the need to cut off any toxic people or people around you that may be toxic that may be bringing drama or that may steer up drama creating um that type of energy so if you felt like lately in your friend circle or those in your inner circle people that you choose to be around with if you've noticed like people are starting to bicker trying to fight one another that type that type of energy it's because there is a specific individual in that circle that is creating that type of tension so again keep a watchful eye for that and steer away from drama now your next card here is the five of swords so I feel that there is a confrontation that's coming up and I feel that it has a lot to do with what I just said. Um, I'm sensing like a person that is portraying themselves to be a friend but actually is a snake and I see them uh, trying to steer up some drama, that drama that you may start or you may experience in the month of October may have to do with a Capricorn, uh, with a uh, cancer like I mentioned or a water energy Pisces cancer Scorpio with the five of swords again it's going to be very crucial and important um, to me may maintain your distance from that type of drama staying away or staying clear from that type of drama if there is a need to take sides or they make you feel like you need to take sides take the high road Aquarius don't put your spoon in there <laughs> 
because you don't want that backfiring. Um, you don't want to come off as a friend that is unreliant, um, especially when people are intentionally stirring up shit. So again, steer away from that for this month of October. Um, and again, when we're talking about Seven of Cups with the Chariot, uh, be blessed of the options that you're going to be experiencing this month. But very important, don't let it go to your head because I feel that um, the moment you do, you start to be distracted. You start to allow all this smoke to go to your head and you end up feeling like you missed out on an opportunity, especially when we're talking about romance. So uh, keep a watchful eye for that as well. I want to wish you guys all the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.